Hello everyone. Continuing the project cycle series, till now we have discussed in brief about project cycle and its five stages. In today's video, we are going to discuss about problem scoping, which is the first stage in AI project cycle. In this video, we are going to focus upon first what is problem scoping, importance of problem scoping, four Ws of problem scoping, problem statement template. And using problem statement template. So first of all, what is problem scoping? So problem scoping is all about identifying and understanding problems, which can be big or small, so that the problem can be solved. Or we can define problem scoping as problem scoping refers to understanding a problem and finding out various factors which affect the problem. Problem scoping also defines the goal or aim of the project. A lot of times we are unable to observe any problems in our surroundings. In that case, we can take a look at the sustainable development goals. The 17 goals have been announced by United Nations which are termed as sustainable development goals. The aim is to achieve these goals by the end of 2030. A pledge to do so has been taken by all the members of the UN. So if the question comes in exam like which countries have taken oath to complete these SDGs then you can answer like all the member nations of United Nations. And how many countries are there in UN? Total of 193, 193 countries are with United Nations. We have created another video on SDGs in detail and the link will be provided in the description for the same. Okay, let's continue. As I said, problem scoping is the first and elementary stage of project cycle. If this stage is not performed correctly, then the whole project will be a total fail. But the question which arises here is why? So let's take an example to understand this. Suppose you are a builder and you are given a contract to create an apartment on a piece of land. The first thing you will do is to check the land, understand the budget and the requirements of the client, which in AI terminology is called problem scoping or understanding the problem. But what if certain parameters like the requirements of the client and budget is not properly analyzed by you? Then can you imagine what will happen when you start making the building? There will be a shortage of resources. And remember that lack of resources will never let you continue your project. This is why problem scoping should be done properly. And guess what? We have a method to do problem scoping in a correct and efficient way. We call this 4 W's of problem scoping or the 4 W's canvas. Let's see what these 4 W's are. These 4 W's stand for who, what, where and why. Sometimes it is difficult to memorize these and here is a trick for you. If we arrange these four by word count then it will be like who, why, what and where or why, who, what and where. Now only we are confused at who and why. So here if we take alphabetical manner then O comes before Y. So who will be at first and we will keep Y at the last. And we already know about what and where. So it will be who, what, where and why. So far so good. So the four W's of problem scoping are who, what, where and why. These four W's help in identifying and understanding the problem in a better and efficient manner. So let's dig them out one by one. First W is who. The who part helps us in comprehending and categorizing who all are directly affected or indirectly affected with the problem and these people who are directly or indirectly affected by the problem and can be benefited after the solution are called stakeholders. Remember this term stakeholders. In this block we are going to find out who the stakeholders to this problem are and what we know about them. So let's see the second W that is what. Under the what block you need to look at what you have on hand. At this stage you need to determine the nature of the problem. 
what is the problem and how do you know that it is a problem under this blog you will also gather evidence to prove that problem you have selected it actually exists newspaper articles media announcements etc are some examples from which you can gather data for proving that this problem actually exists in simple terms in this phase we will look out for a list of problems then we will try to understand the problem's genuineness from the subject expert and also by collecting the articles in print television and social media we are considering subject expert here because for example if the problem exists in the field of cyber security then a normal person cannot help us to give data about it that's why we need to consider a cyber security expert which is a subject expert in this case okay the next w is where now that you know who is associated with the problem and what the problem actually is where part helps us understanding that where does the problem arises its situation context and the location this block will help you look into the situation in which the problem arises the context of it and the locations where it is prominent and the last is why why tells that why is the given problem worth solving what are the benefits to the stakeholders after solving the problem stakeholder was a person who was affected by the problem so if the problem is solved what will be the benefit to the stakeholder one important thing we should remember here is that these can come as match the following questions or one word questions in exam so i am giving you keywords which you should learn from here you can associate who with people affected directly or indirectly by the problem or stakeholders so whenever you see stakeholders or the people who are affected directly or indirectly by the problem then you should match it with who now what is associated with the nature of the problem whenever you see nature of the problem just match it with what where with the context location and situation the why block with why is the problem worth solving or benefits of the solution or benefits to the stakeholder okay before i proceed ensure that you are clear with four w's of problem scoping now we know about these four w's and we can use them in problem scoping but the question is how for this we can create a template using these four w's which will help us in problem scoping the summary or template of these four w's is called problem statement template so this problem statement template explains all the key points in a single template and guess what you can use this statement template again if same type of problem arises in future and resolve it easily this is how the problem statement template looks like don't worry to understand this let's take a problem to understand this let's take a problem and create template on it you can see the topics listed by cbsc on which we can solve the problems or we can refer the 17 sdgs let's take the agriculture theme here we can have the problem like what is a good time for seeding and now let's fill the template one by one so first who are the stakeholders or who are affected by the problem in this we can write the farmers the laborers or the producers of fertilizer then under what block we can write the problem is determine what will be a good time for seeding then under where block we can write farmers want right time for sowing seed in field and the ideal solution and benefits would be produce and supply on time we are done with problem scoping now but it will be actually completed after you practice questions on it we will be posting a link for practicing this concept in the description wait what about the data for problem scoping Mm, let's talk about data acquisition in our next video. You can get all the notes of this video from ai4kids.in. The link is provided in the description. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.